Hi everyone, welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Esme, and I'm out walking today with my human, Michael. I have lived with Michael for over seven years, and watch him grow from an imbecile, to a cretin. Without my guidance he is incapable of the most basic of functions. I have recently been training him to fetch and sharpen sticks for me. He has cleverly made a bushcraft woodworking jig, to make his human tasks more efficient. He made a jig from a few pieces of scrap wood, and a few odd screws. The edge of the long support piece is beveled slightly to better hold the work. I have shown him how to use the cut cut bang bang stick to hammer the screws into the tree stump to hold the jig. By adjusting the space between the parts, larger wood pieces can be held in place. At this point I instruct the human to fetch and cut the stick by making subtle head movements and tongue licks. I have to be careful, as if the commands are not given in the right order, the human will become confused and afraid, and may poop uncontrollably or run away. When the task is complete, I reward the human with a tail whack, reinforcing the positive behavior. The sharpened stick has many uses, but none that I have any particular interest. Watching as the human slave labor at his chores makes him look so cute. It reminds me of me as a young puppy, not knowing much of the world and being confused by mirrors and squirrels. I am not clear at this time why I need the sticks sharpened, but it clearly makes the stick harvest much more of a chore for the human. This helps to tire him out, and he will sleep by the fire for many hours when we get home. He may even get some face licks and non non snacks, if he is good later. But again, what do I know, I'm only a professional consumer of the sticks, and not the fabricator human drone. It appears the tiny mind of the human didn't think of an easy way to remove the apparatus. Having opposable thumbs is not always put to good use. Ah well. I'm sure Michael will improve the design to make it simpler and more effective in future iterations. If you believe that, you will believe anything. We hope you have enjoyed this instructional human training video, and we look forward to sharing our winter camping trips and adventures in the new year. Ahead of time, I have placed treats along the trail to lead the human out of the forest to the Brum Brum machine, and home. For now, everyone take very good care, and we will see you next time. Esme, the human trainer doggo, signing off. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.